Getting to an appointment can often be time-consuming and tiring. But many services are now offering appointments using a video call, just like Skype or FaceTime. This allows you to see your clinician from the convenience of your own home, local centre or workplace. It has been designed to be easy to use, with just a few simple steps to get going. You might be sent an appointment letter from the hospital or receive an email or text message from the GP surgery or other service. This will include details of your appointment and a web address to enter into your browser. You can use a desktop computer, tablet, laptop or smartphone. Just make sure it has a webcam, microphone, speakers or headphones and a reasonable internet connection. It is a good idea to test everything a few days before your appointment. If you are using a computer or laptop, use the link you have been given and click the test call button. This will take you through some checks to make sure everything will work on the day. You will need to use the Chrome browser on Windows-based computers and Android devices or the Safari browser on Apple devices. If you don't have Chrome on your Windows computer, you will need to install it first. It's free to download. If you don't have suitable equipment or you can't get it to work, phone the number on your letter or get in contact with the clinic. They might be able to arrange some help for you to use a computer in your local centre or they will ask you to come in instead. Wherever you choose to make your video call, you'll need to make sure it is private, quiet and well lit. But avoid a bright light or sunshine behind you, just as if you're taking a photo. Though if you're using a smartphone or tablet, try to keep it as steady as possible. Prop it up and leave your hands free for something more important. A couple of minutes before your appointment is due to start, click on the Start Video Call button. The system will run through some checks to make sure everything is working. Then it will ask for your name, phone number and date of birth. This is only so the clinician knows who is calling. Your details won't be kept. You will then go into your own private video room. All you have to do then is wait. When they are ready to see you, they will join you in the video room and your appointment will go ahead as normal. If for any reason the sound or picture starts to break up or the call drops, simply click the refresh button at the top of the screen. This restarts the call exactly where you left off. If you can't get the video call to connect properly, or if you've been waiting too long without seeing anyone, phone the number on your screen or letter or contact the clinic. But try not to hang up your video call in case they are just running late. At the end of your consultation, just say goodbye. And if necessary, click the end button on the screen. Attending your appointment using a video call gives you access to the same high standard of care without the disruption of traveling saving you time, energy and money, and saving the environment too.